Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about narrative feedback for students using Google Keep. Now, this strategy uses Google Docs, and we'll get there in a moment, but I want to set this up by showing you labels in Google Keep. So notice to the left side of the screen, there are labels that I've created, and creating a label is very, very easy. You just hit plus, and then you can create a new label. You can also create labels as you're writing uh, individual Keep notes. Now, notice I have a label here for Tom Student, a student I've created, and for the geological disaster assignment. Okay, so let's look at a Google Doc. Here's a Google Doc. It's a report I wrote years ago for a college course. And if I go to tools, then keep notepad comes up. So imagine you're giving a student feedback in something that they've worked on in Google Docs and you do that with keep. If you take a note, and I'll just na name this narrative. Now, I've named the note. Notice here there's a link to the note right there. That's really cool. Here I can type in more long form narrative feedback for Tom student. Um, there's not much else I can do in this screen. However, I can open and keep. So let me do that real quick. So now that I've done that, it links here. What I would suggest is adding the student when you're ready. And then to keep it nice and organized, add two labels. And the labels you should add are the student's name and the name of the assignment. Now, if you do that, think about it this way. You will be able to filter all of your notes by assignment, and by student. That'll be a lot of labels, but it'll be very quick to access that. So you can keep track of all the feedback that you've given any one student or be able to access all the feedback you've given for any one assignment real quickly. And now this can be some long form feedback, what have you. Other advantages here, we can color code this. We can also add a, an image. So let's do that real quick. So let me add an image. And I would suggest adding memes or GIFs just to give uh, a little fun feedback. So I really like what Tom did on this assignment. So I will tell Tom that's awesome. But now, so there you go. So I've done that. Now let's raise this to the next level. So if you have Google Keep on your phone or a tablet, then you can go to the Google Keep there. And if you notice, there's my feedback that I've given to Tom, and let's open that up and let's do a couple things. One, let us add a recording to this. Tom, I really like what you've done here. I hit play. I really like what you've done here. So now I've successfully added, wow. oh, there you go. I've successfully added a sound to this note for the student. From there, I can add a drawing. And so now I'm in my drawing pad and let's just say, I don't know, I'll just give Tom some checks or I might highlight one of those checks or I might say, you know, oh, I have some concerns. Anyway, you can draw, you can literally draw and now that will become part of the feedback as well for Tom. So think about all the stuff I've given. I can type out some narrative feedback. I can draw some feedback. I can include images. I have recorded feedback. So every one of these could just be a recorded note because I did that in the app. And now that feedback is already there for Tom and it's labeled by his name and by the assignment name. If you have any questions about this strategy using Google Keep for narrative feedback, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.